Hey guys, I'm Sam. Today I just wanted to sit down and share with you guys my experience with some of the sunscreens I've seen that have become pretty famous on Instagram. They're all kind of in the same price range of, of about like 350 to 500 bucks and they all come in the same like 50 ml quantity. I've used all of these for about a week at least now and I think that's enough for me to judge a sunscreen because I've been using sunscreens for years now so I don't think starting a new one is going to make a huge difference to the way my skin looks because it's not like I'm starting from scratch. I'll be reviewing all these sunscreens based on how it feels on the skin, how it feels to reapply, whether it burns or stings the face, what finish it gives on the face, and then if there's anything specific to talk about then I'll share those with you as well. The first sunscreen I want to talk about is this one by Cures from Elemora. Cures? Cures. I'm gonna say Cures. It's their mattifying sunscreen and it has an SPF 50 with PA 4 pluses. It's got a very interesting texture. When you put it on your skin, it spreads out really liquidy. But once you give it a minute, it kind of sets almost like a foundation and it leaves this matte film on your skin. It's almost slightly astringent, but it doesn't look flat unless you have dry skin. So I definitely suggest that you use it on well moisturized or naturally oily skin. I do want to add that they say that it's fragrance free, but then later in the back it says like free of artificial fragrance. Um, I don't know what that means and I don't know what it is that makes it smell good, but it does smell good. If you're the kind of person who just cannot tolerate any sort of fragrance in any product, this might not be for you. Overall, I liked it quite a lot. It's not the sunscreen that I would reach for naturally on a daily basis simply because I don't have very oily skin. But it does have a really nice cosmetic finish and if you're the kind of person who likes that mildly powdered look, um, this might be the one that you go for. Next, we're going to talk about the 1% Hyaluronic Gel Sunscreen by Dermaco. Unlike the Cures sunscreen that came in a normal like squeezy tube this comes in an airless pump i'm not sure what the benefits of an airless pump for a sunscreen are i just thought you should know that when you see a bottle like this it is an airless pump this sunscreen is pretty much a legend at this point i haven't seen a single bad review about it i will say when i applied it i understood why because it just has this light gel texture, which I imagine the Neutrogena gel creams also probably have. Once it sets for a couple of minutes, you can barely even tell that you have something on your skin and then you can just move on with the rest of your makeup or no makeup if you um, And when you reapply it, it just gives you the same feeling all over again. It doesn't feel uncomfortable and it feels pretty cooling on the skin, almost like you're hydrating it again. It did sting me around the eyes a little when I applied it there and it's really important to be able to apply your sunscreen around your eyes. So I use a moisturizer around my eyes before I put this on as a protective layer just so that I don't get burnt there. The sunscreen is fragrance free and um, I believe it, it doesn't smell amazing but I don't really care about that anymore with my skincare products. The next two sunscreens that I want to talk about are by Earth Rhythm. One is their Phytoshield SPF 50 Mineral Sunscreen. It has SPF 50 with PA3+. Mind you, PA3 pluses is also very good UV protection. It's a completely matte mineral sunscreen. It has a really unique texture. It feels almost like an oily cloud. Not like an oily cloud, but like a fluffy, like creamy cloud. And it spreads out so smoothly on the skin. So whenever I'm having a tough skin day, when I have like something flaking or breakouts or pigmentation that I just want to calm down and like soothe and not bother anymore, I always reach for this one. On reapplication, it does feel a little bit stuffy on the skin. You can't really see the greasiness, but you can feel it under the skin. If you have dry skin or like dry and sensitive irritated skin, this would probably be a great sunscreen for you. This sunscreen is oil based. The first few ingredients are like avocado oil, sweet almond oil and things like that. 
there's a few other mineral sunscreens that i've been eyeing for a while now so i'll be trying them out and then telling you my experience with them in a little time the next one is the ultra defense spf 50 sunscreen it's got uva and uvb protection pa4 plus this is the dewiest sunscreen out of all of them if you have dry skin and you're looking for something to give you that like glass skin kind of a look this is the one you go for this is also an airless pump and they use sugarcane derived bioplastic in it which is amazing by the way you guys i feel like i came down way too hard on um or through them in my last video i did not mean to be that harsh I really like their products and their serum formulations I think are some of the most innovative on the Indian market right now. This works really great as a makeup primer if you're going for a dewy look as well. Um, but on reapplication it does tend to be a little greasy and it does make your skin look a little duller. Overall, I really like it. It does not irritate or sting my skin around the eyes or anywhere else. And this is a completely organic sunscreen. Uh, not organic in the sense of like green and Ayurvedic and like all that. I'm talking about like chemistry organic sunscreen. Like it has um, non-mineral filters. The last sunscreen I wanted to talk about was this one by The Minimalist. It's their multivitamin sunscreen SPF 50 PA4+. I did not want to go for the other one which is their Silymarin version because I don't think I could justify spending that much on it. This sunscreen is a sensitive skinned person's dream. If you have sensitive acne prone skin that's like combination and also burns and also pigments like my skin. <laughs> This one is really really nice. It does not burn. You can put it straight onto freshly washed skin even around your eyes. So on first application this feels just like you've put on a nice moisturizer and gone out into the day. The second application is also pretty comfortable but the third application on my combination to dry skin felt a little greasy and I tend to reapply my sunscreens at least three times a day. And even though it is a chemical sunscreen it does not burn my skin at all. It also has some niacinamide and antioxidants in it. I didn't feel like it was enough to warrant not using a vitamin C or some other kind of antioxidant on my skin before going in with my sunscreen, but I really did enjoy using this. I really like all these sunscreens and I can see why they are so popular on Skindian Skinstagram. <laughs> but if I had any feedback to give to the brands about all of them, it would be to please make them in a bigger size as well. I feel like for products like sunscreen, it's really important to put a lot on and reapply. And that might even be a little more important than the filters that are being used and the testing result and all of that stuff that we're putting so much emphasis on these days. These tiny bottles lasted me almost three weeks. I really wanted to use the minimalist one for a month and then give you guys a review but it didn't even last me that long. I have like one pump of it left that I saved for this review. These could still be there. They could just be like sample sizes before you committed for the big one. I think a big size would definitely encourage people to reapply and put the right amount of sunscreen on. Also, it would make me feel a lot better about buying a really good quality bottle that has an airless pump in it. It feels really bad to throw it away after three weeks. And each of these sunscreens came in their own small cardboard box as well. So it just feels really bad to throw away that much packaging. And I'm the kind of person who hoards cardboard because of this. So I just have like a huge pile of cardboard that I've been getting rid of slowly, even though it's been hurting my heart. So will I be repurchasing any of these? Probably yes. I would repurchase the minimalist one and the earth rhythm mineral one because they're nice to use around the eyes and on days when you have sensitive skin. Okay guys, those are all my thoughts on the sunscreens that I've been trying for the past few weeks. Let me know if these reviews were helpful to you. 
If you like this video and you thought it was not too shabby, subscribe so that I can see your face again and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.